Felicity, this swing life, Jango Lover. Felicity, this swing life. Welcome to it. Welcome back to my channel. My face is Ashley, so I'll do the intro at the end, actually. Let's just get into it. Hope all is well. I am going to first go in with this Clean Beauty Moisturizer. Uh, this is a grapefruit water gel moisturizer, and I've been using this forever, and I love it. Hold on. Ah, it's not going to catch it. Um, so it has been a minute since I've uploaded on this channel and how are you guys doing like this is just a regular you know chit chat get ready with me and if you're not new to my channel you know how i love those i am going to just do a really quick um summer look i know that those were popular a couple years ago, but to be quite honest, this whole summer, I haven't packed on the makeup. Like I just, I've been either bare faced or I'll just do a moisturizer and a light powder. But I've also done this routine that I'm about to show you too. And I'm gonna do one. Oh no, baby, it's out. No, is it broken? It's broken. There. It can't be out. I had just bought this. How do they break? Rihanna, send me a new one. I'm just kidding. I bought this with my own money. But if Fenty did send me one, I would not be mad at it, honey. Okay, so that's enough anyway. And I'm just going to... Oh, and I did a review on this foundation when it first came out. If you want to see it, I will link it in the description box and put it in the cards. And that's pretty much all I do for my face. And then I'm going to do some brows. And then I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty uh, Mocha Mommy and I'm using that as a blush. I also have a review on this if you would like to see it, if you're new here. Y'all forgive me because I've totally forgotten how to do this. Oh, I have a true crime channel, um, a true crime and makeup that I literally just uploaded a couple days ago. I will also link that in the description box if you are interested in true crime and makeup. So that's been my, that's been the content creation that's been like really giving me life lately. So I kind of just switched gears and made another channel and started doing something that, you know, I actually like to do. I was, I was really into the true crime channels and, you know, the documentaries and all that stuff. And I just decided that was the content creation that I, that I would like to start that I would like to do on my free time and because I really don't know I just know that it's the content that right now makes me happy to do and you know life is just a roller coaster guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do what makes me what makes me feel good as you should too because if we're being honest I really don't know what to do with this beauty channel anymore I just I don't know if people are even still interested in beauty I know I still like this channel it's my child like I have I have I've had this channel for a long 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 time you know 
I always come back to it. So, but I just, I don't know if beauty is still popular, if doing beauty videos is still popular, if doing, I don't know. But what I like for this channel is I was going like towards a outer beauty, mental beauty type thing because the, those are what are important to me. Yes, I love beauty products, I love makeup, but for me, like I love mental health more than anything. That is why I got into that career. That is why I went to school for that. Mental health has always been near and dear to my heart. And it, I found a way to tie it with beauty and I am struggling to marry those two onto this channel. But I have tried with my self care Sundays, which I admittedly could do a whole lot better on, especially with consistency. But I'm just, I'm struggling to find that happy medium for this channel where beauty meets mental health and marry the two in a still, in a way that still serves. The people that have subscribed to me if that makes sense like I I always want someone to take something away from my video I always want someone to walk away thinking they took something away they took what they can use and left the rest you know take what you can use and leave the rest is what I want people to get from my channel and I don't know life is just crazy and I know what it feels like to feel like completely and totally by yourself and alone and I never want anyone to feel that way even if you find it from a random stranger like me online if you find relatability reach out say something you know never suffer in silence there's too many people in this world to ever suffer in silence and I know not everyone can afford to go to therapy so reach out to people um that was that was that took a turn that wasn't the turn that I was going for I was just gonna do this quick makeup look but yeah I guess that is my message for today is never suffer alone even if you have to reach out to someone we are in the age of technology even if you just find someone online that you you know you follow them or you don't follow them but you see their content and you resonate with them say something like let them know um but you know don't be spilling your whole life to strangers so it's a find that happy medium <laughs> okay um what else was i gonna say i wasn't gonna say anything much guys like life updates might come soon I don't know um I need something for these brows but yeah I just don't think I just like once upon a time I had a intense love for makeup but it's it's shifting like I I want to shift that I still want to do beauty of course because it's still something near and dear to my heart, but I also want to, you know, talk about mental health and how important it is and reaching your life's goals. And sometimes things don't go on the timeline that you would like it to go on. And that's okay. That I just want to share like my life experiences without actually put my whole business out there, but to help someone else. I'm so sorry about it. My camera died, so I had to switch gears and film on my phone. Forgive me. Um, what was I saying? I think I was saying about not making a decision on something in your life. So being indecisive 
is a decision. When you sit and spin and don't make a choice on something, that is the choice. Not making a choice is the choice because life will go on whether you want it to or not. It, it's not going to stop and wait for you to make a decision on something. It's going to keep going and you, your indecisiveness will have consequences, you know? So that was just my little tidbit for this morning. But I just felt that I needed to sit down and, you know, talk about my channel switching gears for those who care. Um, and really marrying beauty and mental health and self-care and self-improvement all together. And then just making decisions for your life and not looking to the left or to the right of what the next person is doing. When you really just focus on you, you thrive. Competition, comparison, all of that is literally the thief of joy. And I know this from experience, child, like feeling like you aren't where you're supposed to be or feeling like you should be further, but you're not. I literally know the feeling, literally. But all in all, live your life, live your life and live it unapologetically, like live it unapologetically that's it that's the message live your life live it unapologetically don't worry about what everybody else is doing focus on you and you will thrive okay that's my that's my tidbit and i will write out a schedule so i can be more consistent on here and i really want to go back to like i used to work hard on my content like put my whole soul into them but i've a couple years i've just been like half assing it so i'm gonna i'm just gonna do better okay i'll see y'all my next video guys i gotta go Bye, y'all.